Hello, it's James from X-Robots. It's part 21 of the real working Iron Man exosuit, which last time I had almost working, but this time we need to upgrade the motors, make it a bit more agile, and hopefully I'll be able to do something resembling walking along. Last time I added these pressure pads at the feet, and these are made of Hall effect sensors and magnets that give me a really good linear response, and that measures how hard I push. I've got other rails here and at the hips as well to add some more of those so that I can make the legs move backwards and forwards so I can walk along. I've currently got these brushless motors which have a belt onto another pulley and that drives the ball screw which drives the joint. What we found was these motors were a bit underpowered. They're about a kilowatt each but basically they don't start up agile enough so that we can actually move as I move. So we're going to replace them this time with these much bigger motors. So I just wanted to say a few things about the motors. Obviously these are brushless outrunners. In the Mark 1 suit, before I rebuilt it, I used brushless inrunners. Now those spin much faster with much less torque, and I use lots of gearing to reduce it, and then blocks and tackles pulled by this pulley with some cords. So check out that first part of the series to see that in action. Now these work pretty well, even though they're lower power, and they've got less torque, mainly because of the gearing, and by the time I get the speed I need out of the gearbox, this motor's already spun up and spinning really fast. And I use Radio Control Car ESCs. For this, I'm using skateboard ESCs, which have much better starting current anyway. So uh, basically, I've kind of gone for these much bigger motors and I've reduced my gearing. And as a result of that, probably we can't actually start up when I need to. So we're going to hope that these motors work. Otherwise, we'll have to look at intermediate gearing again. So I've got some 3D printed brackets, which is pretty much how I've done everything. I will be redesigning all the motor mounts um, in the ends and maybe CNCing them out of aluminium. But for now, we just need to see if it works. So there's not much point spending the money. I've got 3D printed T5 pulleys for now. I ordered metal ones, but they haven't arrived in time. So they'll be fine to take my belt off onto the pulley that drives the ball screw. So I do need to recalibrate my VESC ESCs for the new motors because these are completely different. So there's an auto test routine in the config utility. So I'll need to run that and write the settings to all four drivers and I can just install these motors and we'll see what happens. So that's a new motor fitted in there with the belt and obviously this thing's just glued onto the old mount and if you remember this mount is glued onto the piece that holds the ball screw so that's what I'm talking about when I say I've got to redesign this whole thing, maybe make them out of metal. Yeah it's a bit wobbly but it'll do for now because obviously this is the fast low torque side and just side by side comparison that's the old motor and there's the new one so quite a lot bigger. Well there's all four of them fitted, they're a bit close to my trouser legs but we'll see how it works. Well, it's definitely a lot punchier and those motors seem to work fine. So that's definitely more reliable. Those new motors have got the torque to turn those lead screws reliably. Obviously the suit's a bit laggy though. So these motors are actually half the speed of the other ones and it wasn't responsive enough in the first place and that's why I've upgraded the motors to higher torque ones so I can get better acceleration. So it's definitely overheading code to turn up that responsiveness. So I'm gonna do that. We'll just tweak it up a bit and then we'll see how it performs. Well, it seems to move when I move. Obviously, my feet are a bit loose in the bottom. I've still just got those Velcro straps to hold my feet in, so I have to kind of bend my toes up to push the pressure sensors, um, and kind of that varies depending on how I do it. But basically, it moves when I move. If I pull the foot up, it lifts when I put mine up, and puts it down pretty quick as well, so the foot is on the ground and leg is straight when I come to take a step. There's a few other things we need to resolve, though. So you can kind of see those motor mounts wobbling around. Um, these, as I say, need to be redesigned, but also as a result of the uh, weight of this pulling down, the brackets bent, and obviously this belt isn't tight, so if I hold the ball screw, this thing will just happily skip round. So I think I can hear the belt skipping a few times. It's the same with the other one on the other side and a couple of the others. So this whole mount needs to be redesigned, as I said before, to put the motor back behind it 
and have something much more rigid driving the ball screw. The other thing, of course, is I'm actually having to hold on to this to hold these at my hips because there's no strapping actually holding me in at the moment. So obviously, if I were to just hit the foot pedal, this side of the suit will just dip unless I actually hold it up. So it's actually fixed to my hip. So the leg is fixed at the top on the bottom, essentially, and it will shrink and lift with my actual leg. So um, what I need is some sort of harness to fix myself in. But first of all, I'm going to try and take some steps forward, because although I can take small steps, that's really only with the twist of the suit around these axes that allow the legs to turn, that allow me to turn on the spot, that allow me to offset them. I'm not actually pushing the legs backwards and forwards. So in order to move the legs backwards and forwards to walk along, as well as sensing the motion up and down, we need to have an additional couple of sliders, which were going to be around the ankle here. And that would allow me to measure the push on my legs forward and backwards. I'd also planned to have two more sliding sensors at the hips here, which meant when this leg is on the ground, I'd push forward on the hip and that would move that leg backwards. Obviously the other one we push on the ankle and that would move that leg forward. However, once my hips are actually strapped in here, I don't know how much motion I'm gonna have at the hips. So I'm not gonna do these for now. I'm just gonna leave it with the ankle. And basically what I'm gonna do is when you push forward on the ankle sensor, it moves this leg forward and it moves that one backwards. And if I push backwards on it, it's gonna move this leg backwards and that one forwards. That means I should be able to walk backwards and forwards just pushing with my ankles on these on each side. So as before, my magnets are mounted on the sliders and my Hall Effect sensors are mounted on these things that fit on the rails with T-nuts. So I fitted those on there. I've got my springs that spring them back to the middle where the Hall Effect sensors are and I just need to wire these wires in and take them up to the analog ins of the main control Arduino. So those wires come up and they go to four more analog ins on the Arduino Mega that controls everything. So I'm now reading those values from the Hall Effect sensors and basically I'm adding them as I did last time in a loop. So every time I push the front one, it adds to the value and when I push the back one, it um, subtracts from the value. So if I give that a little shove, we should be able to see that left hand column going up and it's constrained so it doesn't go any higher than 200. And if I push the back one, that'll take some off the value all the way back down to minus 200. And obviously that's the same on the other side as well with the other column there. So that gives me a value I can add to both motors. So basically as I push forward, I can add it to both of the forward motions on the top and bottom of the leg and that'll move the leg forward. And basically it'll add that to the existing position for the up and down value that I've got on the other pair of sensors. So now if I push that front pad, that should make both motors go forward on that leg so it leans forward and on that one that should do the other leg and now i've turned that round so it's actually the right way around for taking steps so obviously when i push forward it needs to move this leg forward which will make the suit lean back so that's actually what we need to be doing with those and at the moment it's just moving one leg with the one pressure pad it's not moving the other one in the opposite direction but we'll give that a go first So although that kind of looked like it was working, I didn't think it through really, because if you keep kicking the leg forward and never kick it back again, um, ultimately we were gonna kick it back when we kick the other one forward. It just ends up with the legs forward and the whole thing leaning backwards. It doesn't work at all. So we just need to put that extra bit of code in so the legs in fact do push back when the other one pushes forward. So it's pretty much kind of working. It actually took quite a few takes just to get that bit of footage because there's now quite a few issues that have come up on the suit. The main problem is I'm really having trouble reliably hitting these, pretty much all of them. And that's due to the fact the only thing holding my foot in place is this piece of Velcro, which is just loose so my foot can still move. Obviously my foot will still move around backwards and forwards as I take steps and it just basically goes all over the place. What I really need is a proper harness, like a proper boot that's constrained in with springs perhaps, so it always springs back to the right place and I'd be able to reliably push these. The first couple of steps are generally okay, but after that my foot just goes all over the place and I can't walk reliably. My belt assemblies are pretty much worn out now. The bottom ones aren't too bad because the weight of the motor's pushing it down and tensioning it. The top ones have just completely bent now, so this is just absolute rubbish. So I don't know if you could hear it grinding in the footage there, but uh, quite a lot of the takes were just ruined because the thing wouldn't move. The motor was just spinning round, just sort of making that noise. So this really needs rebuilding, it needs just a less wobbly mount really 
and probably a belt idler that I can tension to keep tension on those belts. Also, the suit's falling over backwards, really. Um, it only just stands up by itself now. I've had to block up the back of the heels because otherwise it just falls over backwards. The whole thing is leaning backwards and you could probably see in the footage there, I was pretty much leaning forward, the suit's leaning backwards and I'm trying to make it go forward. And what's happened, in fact, is some of this studding has bent and some of these have become loose and the load on the back is just pulling it backwards. So I need to really tension these up and reposture it and probably change the default angles on these, on the pots. So actually it's got more lean forward and that gives me a much better posture for actually walking forward. So the key thing here is that this is actually going to be a very detailed series. I'm going to keep doing the detail a little bit every week or every two weeks, solving those issues and working through it till it works. So next time I really do have to fix those motor mounts. Now I know those are the right motors and also need to harness myself in really, particularly around the ankles uh, so I can reliably hit those sensors. And I think just those things are going to make it much more reliable. So don't forget that all these projects, my main build projects, are funded by patrons. So have a look at patreon.com slash xrobots. And that's basically fan funding. You can get some rewards as well, including access to my videos early, a live stream with me, and various other things that you can check out on the reward section on the right hand side. So don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this project and all the other projects. I've got some other really exciting projects coming up this year. Some are robotic, some are about cosplay, and some are a bit of a combination of both. That's all for now.